Now, with parents and school systems all across the country struggling to manage an increase in coronavirus cases, the White House announced it will be distributing 10 million more COVID tests per month to schools nationwide to keep up with the intense demand. Tarek is joining us now to explain how this will work and what local school districts are planning. Tarek? So first and foremost, the White House is still ironing out all the details about these tests, which would be used in schools and which schools are going to get them first is still unknown. But after checking with our local school districts, many of them say they hope that this will help the students to stay in the classroom this year. Uh, and there is significant lab capacity uh, in this country. So we're working with schools to take advantage of the lab capacity that is open. Uh, in the country. White House COVID response coordinator Jeffrey Zink says the Biden administration is putting America's laboratories to work, already devoting $10 billion to school based COVID 19 tests. The White House saying they will follow up soon with the schools that qualify for the tests, recognizing that schools are the hub of every community. CDC and uh, the Department of Ed are adding resources uh, to help schools identify testing providers and implement best practices and the federal government is funding and strongly encouraging these testing programs. COVID-19 response team members say the additional school-based testing will double the volume of testing as compared to last year. We asked local school districts about the new initiative. They told us they're still waiting on the details. A Duval County spokesperson writes in part, COVID-19 testing has been part of our response in various ways since we reopened for the first time back in fall of 2020. Testing of students and employees helps us to identify if symptomatic individuals have COVID and need to isolate. All of this, as you know, helps to slow the spread, which is our ultimate goal during these surges and spikes. A spokesperson for the Nassau County School District says the district has not sponsored any testing up to now, but has on occasion partnered with local health agencies to provide testing at several sites. We are just now hearing of this new initiative and will be waiting to hear more before moving forward. Even though these additional tests are only enough to cover a fraction of the more than 50 million students and educators in the country, the administration hopes the tests will fill critical shortfalls in schools that have been facing outbreaks and are having difficulty finding tests. We also heard from Clay County school officials late this afternoon. They told us that they welcome all additional measures to help keep staff and students healthy. And they added that schools have voluntary take home testing kits for students and staff currently. We also check with the St. John's County School District who told us that they have not yet discussed today's announcement. Kent?